my obsession with it had more to do with the levels of the game, with the strategy of how to make a trade, spending really, really long, uh, content but somewhat stressful hours thinking about trades. We can make something happen here. You need pitching, I need hitting. It's as easy. I don't need Bob Stanley. You can have Bob Stanley. Just give it to me. Come on. I was notoriously both the most active trader and even more notoriously the most aggressive and uh, vilified uh, trader. Eisenberg was pure, unadulterated evil. He, he is human scum. I hope that's, is, that's not too harsh, is it? He was a swine. Lee was a swine. Come on, Bruce, pick up, come on! This is Bruce. Bruce, it's Lee. Let's I remember a trade with Bruce McCall, but it was a one-for-one -one trade. But Bruce was very reluctant to make the trade. All right, thanks, Lee. Thanks for wasting my time. I'll talk to you later. You don't even care about this anymore anyway. You haven't paid attention to your team in weeks, and you know it. He was so relentlessly obnoxious. I mean, he would not let you alone. He was always nudging you and needling you and handling you, and he just to shut up. Yes, I'll make the trade. I'm doing you a favor. I can't believe you're arguing this. And I then did something that I guess I'm both proud of and deeply ashamed of. I said, make, if you make this trade, I will buy you a new dress shirt. You're going to give me a shirt in exchange for Bill Buckner. Yeah. Stop being such a wimp. Just do this. It had never been stipulated that you couldn't include real cash or or goods in a trade. So I felt compelled to offer it, and he felt compelled to take it. It's going to look great on you. you All right, great. A good trade right there. Thanks. All right, see it. That idiot. You're like the best player in the league. This seals it for me. It's not even a real silk shirt. Woo! <laughs> He's crazy. I would have given him four Bill Buckners for this baby. This is nice.